Oh, hey guys, how's it going? Nathan back inside in the BCA conference room here. We're gonna talk about a couple of Cerakote and powder coat options we got for you guys today, okay? All right, guys, so a uh, big question we hear a lot is kind of what's the difference between Cerakote and powder coat uppers? So I'm gonna give you guys a really brief rundown on that. Like I said, I am not the guy that does Cerakoting or powder coating here. I went over to those guys and kind of had them run me through the process. Quick, elementary, down and dirty. Cerakote uppers. This is a Sig Pink Cerakote upper. They essentially are gonna take the, this particular Cerakote colored paint and they're gonna put it on the upper and then they're going to put it in the oven and bake it. A really big giant oven back there that we can hang all the uppers in and they can bake. So as you bake the paint on, it cures to the metal there and sticks to it a little bit better. So it's a little more scratch resistant and scuff resistant as like a normal upper. So it's gonna protect the metal underneath. The other option that we have is powder coating. Like I said, this is a very down and dirty explanation. Try not to criticize me too hard on that because I got a pretty quick rundown. The um, powder coating is essentially a powdered paint is electromagnetically placed against the metal and that's how it sticks to it. And then once they place that powder on there with that electromagnetic gun, as I was described to me, they put it in that same oven and bake it again to kind of cure the metal to it, okay? Um, the guys in the back actually like the powder coat a little bit better. They think it um, is a lot more scratch resistant and uh, will hold up a little bit better than the Cerakote. Both of them obviously are gonna protect the metal because it's an extra coating on top, but they think that the, uh, the powder coat eventually hair up, held up to wear and tear a little bit better than the Cerakote. But uh, they enjoy making both of them and they aren't always back there playing around, making new colors, trying out new things for us. So we're gonna run through these colors real quick and kind of show you a couple of differences and some of the fit and finish on them, okay? So up first, we have the uh, sky blue. This is the sky blue powder coat upper, okay? Pretty glossy finish, all right? You can see that there. It uh, looks very similar to the robin's egg blue. Colors are a little bit different though, but this is just the powder coat option instead of the Cerakote option there, okay? So there's that sky blue, all right? This is a pretty popular one we've been selling for a little while now. This is the hammered copper powder coat. It's kind of got like a black and a bronze mixture throughout. Um, this has been pretty popular. A lot of people really like this. It's kind of like a little bit of a texture finish. It's not super glossy, but it still does have a decent shine to it, okay? So that's a pretty cool fit and finish there. Dig that, hammered copper. If you're looking for a very, uh, a relatively rough, gritty finish, this is super grip green. It's a little bit lighter than the, uh, the olive drab color, that OD green that we have in Cerakote, but this is gonna be a powder coat option. And it is called super grip green. Um, still pretty glossy color on top, but a pretty rough texture. I'm gonna get that a little bit closer for you guys there. A little bit of a rough, grippy texture there. Everybody's pretty familiar with the uh, Stormtrooper White. We did a giveaway with that. This is the powder coat version of that, okay? So this is the powder coat white version. Um, may come up with a different name than Stormtrooper just to kind of distinguish between the Cerakote and the powder coat. But for right now, powder coat white, still pretty glossy color but uh, it's not very smooth. It's got a little bit of a grip to it, just a little bit less than maybe the sky blue or this pink here. Um, just not quite as smooth of, an, of a rail there for the powder coat white. This is the only Cerakote option that we have right now for the video. Um, we're gonna be doing some other stuff, getting some other stock back up, but this is a Cerakote Sig Pink, okay? And is compared to like the white one, for example, this is a lot smoother, okay? This is a little bit of a rougher finish. They're still both very glossy and kind of have a shine to them. But this is a little bit smoother. And I kind of think as a whole, Cerakote is a smoother option than powder coat. Powder coat tends to have a little bit more of a texture on your fingers. So this is our uh, powder coat FDE. This is maybe a little bit darker than our current FDE in Cerakote. But like I said, this is a little bit more of a texture. Not as much as the Super Grip Green, but uh, definitely more of a texture than they say the Cerakoted Sig Pink there, okay? So check that out, it's a pretty cool rail there. Um, I guess it's a little bit, I think it's a little bit closer than, to the average FDE color that most people look for and has a little bit of a texture to it. So we have a uh, titanium Cerakote, but this is the powder coat option. So kind of like the powder coat versus the Cerakote white, this is gonna be the powder coated uh, kind of a titanium color. I think we may just go ahead and call this chrome. Don't really have a name for it out yet, but very shiny, very glossy, very smooth texture, kind of like the Cerakotes do. 
really polish these up nice. But you know, that's a, it's a lot of shine to it. These look really good with the uh, melanite barrels because those have a glossy black finish and these have this glossy silver finish. So that's the uh, powder coat chrome or titanium. We're not really sure what we're gonna call that one yet. Next powder coat, this is almost like a burgundy, um, like a light burgundy color. Pretty, uh, pretty cool. Um, these look decent with the Parkerized finishes on them and they look really good with the uh, stainless steel. Got to show you that right there. Stainless steel barrel with this. Um, like I said, this is like a, a burgundy color mixed with that red in there, but that's pretty cool. Show you that up close there. Nice burgundy color. Got this uh, pretty pretty cool looking blue. It's almost like a, like a magnetic color. I can kind of show you this on top with the sky blue there. But uh, very reflective. Very smooth, very glossy finish. Okay, on that, but it's like a it's like a dark dark blue color. We're working on a name for that as well, but also very cool. And this is what we're gonna need you guys help with. Okay, so these four options here are brand new, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna be doing like a YouTube poll in the comments for you guys. So we really need you guys to watch the video and participate. This this color right here, we're gonna be taking a. Uh, we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna get some hints from you guys. What do you, what would you guys call this color if you had to name it? It's like a bluish green with reflective reflective paint flecks throughout of it. Okay, uh, on this stainless steel barrel. So I'm gonna get that pretty close. Let you guys see that. Uh, like I said, it's like a bluish green with like reflective paint inside of it. Very cool color. Really been digging playing with this upper, but uh, this is actually on a 6.5 Grendel stainless steel barrel. Might do a giveaway with this soon, but. We need you guys' help. We want to know what you want to call this. If you had to name this color for our website, what would you call it? Comment down below. Tell us what you think. Uh, tell your friends to watch the video and comment too. If, if they really like the, your name, like the comment or comment on top of yours for that name. And uh, we'll see if we can't come up with a good name for this, for this powder coat color here. So every single one of these colors is going to be powder coat except for the pink. This is Cerakote. But... All of them really have a, a certain texture and finish to them. So we really kind of want to highlight some of that and, and the whole process as a whole. So if you guys have any questions, please comment down below. Let us know what you want us to call this color here. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. On to the next one. Stay safe, stay, stay healthy out there, guys, okay?